Well, praise the Lord in Jesus' holy and blessed name. What a beautiful day it is to be in Jesus. So, amen. Amen. Well, Brother Tom is with you here, and this is a ministry of Jesus Christ. And today, brothers and sisters, a quick look at some encouraging words and something that we need to remember and keep close to the heart and on our minds as we walk through these days today. All right. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Paul, writing in Romans chapter 8, of course, one of the biggie chapters of Romans, although you can find biggie things in every chapter of Romans. This is one of the biggies. And in this chapter, there is so much encouragement and understanding. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. In this chapter 8 in particular, he concludes it this way. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distresses or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither Death nor, death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Praise the Lord. In all of these things, we are more than conquerors. This is a beautiful truth. Thanks be to Jesus Christ, we are more than conquerors. More than. <laughs> Not just conquerors, we are more than conquerors. And all of these things that can happen to us in life, whatever the thing that may come against you in this life, cannot separate you from the love of Christ. No, he cannot. It'll try. People will try. The devil tries. The circumstances that they use work against us repeatedly over and over again. But we are more than conquerors. More than conquerors. There is no creature no circumstance that can separate us from the love of Christ. Thank God, oh glory be to God. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, distress, persecution, famine, nakedness, peril, sword, all of the external things that come against us in life, whether it's hunger, the loss of a job, the all those things that happen to us in daily living of life cannot. They try. The goal of the enemy is to use them to try and separate us from the love of Christ. But Christ is the conqueror of it all. And because he is the conqueror, we are more than conquerors. Christ Jesus our Lord. For as it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. For whose sake? For the sake of the Lord we are. There is a bit of a qualifier there. When it's for the sake of the Lord. It's like in persecutions and, and such things. If you're, you're being persecuted for doing something really wrong, that's not persecution. But when you are in the Lord, serving the Lord, speaking in his name, the name of the Lord Jesus, and you're standing up and you're persecuted for that, oh, more than conquerors. Sometimes people are persecuting, this is persecution, but it wasn't because it was of the Lord. So, right context here. 
when it is for the Lord. They may be killed all the day long as sheep accounted for the slaughter. But God says we're more than conquerors through Christ Jesus our Lord. Though they may kill the body, they cannot spirit, kill both spirit and soul. Amen. Only God can kill spirit and soul in hell. Oh, amen. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Through God our Father, through our Lord Jesus Christ, through the Spirit who lives in us, dwells in us, fills us, seals us unto the day of redemption. We are indeed. For Paul is persuaded, as are we, as am I today, that neither death nor life nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come. Read it. Nor things to come. Nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. A pretty inclusive list here. Over and over again. True blessings in Jesus. Oh, amen and amen. Nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Christ, which is in Christ Jesus. The love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. The love of Jesus, too. But the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. What glorious truth. But praise to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As Paul was persuaded, we are persuaded. And share with you today, be persuaded. And know and understand with all your heart. That once you're in Christ Jesus, there's no creature. Let no event overtake your life. Let no persecution work its dirty work and attempt to separate you from the love of Christ or the love of God. You can't, you don't let it because you are more than a conqueror. Please, today, receive that truth. You are more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus, because of Christ Jesus, because of the love of God that will not allow you to be separated from him by these things, by the sin of this world and the evil of this world. Trust him. And some have said, well, can you back away? Yes, you can back away and not take the promise but stand on the promises of God. Believe, trust, and know that when you do, when you put your trust in the Lord, it's a guarantee that God will not disappoint. God will take care of you. Neither height, nor depth. Nothing. Not the sword not the persecution, not the sicknesses that can take the body. None of these things can separate us from the love of God. We have God's guaranteed promise. Stand in the Lord today and know that God loves you and will not let the devil and all the garbage of this world Take you from him. For God loves you. He cares about you. And knows all of these things that are going on. And he will be with you. In every moment. Every step of the way. Oh, and amen. And amen. In Jesus holy and blessed name. Amen. And amen. In Jesus' holy and blessed name, amen and amen.